Today, I've got a new toy to play with. My new flat top grill just arrived, so I'm gonna be making bacon blue cheese smash burgers out on the flat top grill. All right, before we get to the burgers, I want to get a sauce made that we're gonna put on these. And this is going to be a horseradish mayo sauce. We've got four heaping tablespoons of mayonnaise here, and to this I'm gonna add two tablespoons of prepared horseradish. Give this a quick mix. Yeah, you cannot not smell horseradish when you use it. I just love horseradish on beef especially. Now I'm gonna add some cracked black pepper. And yes, I like pepper. I like a lot of pepper. Quick little taste here. Horseradish, pepper. That is the kick that I want. All right, let's move on to getting our burgers ready. What I'm working with is some 80-20 ground beef. I have about a pound and a half here. And to this, I'm gonna add five tablespoons of blue cheese crumbles. Now I'm just gonna get in here and we're gonna mix the blue cheese into our ground beef. Ooh, this is cold ground beef. And you're gonna have pieces of cheese sticking out, that's okay. Now, if you don't like blue cheese, you could use your favorite cheese here. You could use cheddar, anything you want. Really, I just wanna get the cheese inside the burger. It's gonna be terrific once we smash it. All right, let's go ahead and form our meatballs, which are gonna become the smash burgers. So what I wanna do with our ground beef here is just sort of form it into a rough sort of log here. Just like that, doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm just gonna roughly cut this into four sections. Any pieces of meat that come off, just shove them back on there. And this one. So we have four pieces that are roughly the same size. I'm just gonna form them into some meatballs now. Not really trying to compress them, just wanna get them in that roughly round shape. This one's a little big, so I'm gonna pinch some off of that guy. Fit it into here. All right, there we go. Let's get these out to the flat top grill. And right, we're gonna start this party by getting some bacon going here. A little bit of oil going right here. I'm running my hot zone over here today, cooler zone on the right side. Some red onion rounds going here. This is actually a hatched chili bacon. And it's gonna be AFS today, acceptable floppy state, just how I like it. I get a little bit of a toast going on my bun. I wanna get some of that bacon grease on there. Let that toast for a couple minutes. Cooler side. Our AFS bacon is done. Let's get that off. Bun's looking good. Onions are looking good. Go ahead and get our burgers on. Let those go for about 15, 20 seconds before we smash them. Just hold it for a little while, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds.
not adding any cheese on top because we got cheese inside. All right, these are looking good. I'm gonna get these off and we're gonna build our bacon blue cheese smash burgers. We are just gonna build our burger and taste it outside today. A little bit of this horseradish mayo on the bottom. I don't like a lot of spread. I've said that in videos before, but a little's nice. Some onions on the bottom here. Burger patty, a couple pieces of bacon. Nice AFS bacon. Some more onions. A little bit more of our horseradish mayo. What I do is top this bad boy. There it is, the bacon blue cheese smash burger. And I'm just gonna taste this outside today. All right, let's see how much of a mess I can make with this. Oh man, that blue cheese mixed throughout the meat, melted right inside, is just fantastic. Really nice flavor from that horseradish mayo. The hatch chili pepper bacon, a little bit of a kick. The onions are good, I like red onions, but it's just everything together and that burger smashed, I'm getting a great sear on the griddle there that just really makes this burger. So maybe you wanna try this, but you don't have a big old cast iron griddle like this. You can get a cast iron pan, get the same effect. I've done it many times, but I do have to say, it's nice having this big old griddle here to cook on. I'm gonna be using it a lot in videos. I definitely will be making more smash burgers, and some of those are definitely gonna be bacon blue cheese smash burgers. 